This is Twit. We continue here working with the the pine board thing. Uh, it's it's just been so much fun. Every uh, uh, every morning we get on with the bunch that I'm here on 3885. On Mondays at uh, 8.30 uh, Central, we have the peanut whistle net. That's the thing that started it all. Well, you all know what, what happened when we build this thing. We, we started out at one watt. And I did that for a number of reasons. I wanted you to get kind of a feeling of what's going on. And the heart of what goes on there is the power supply. George is going to come in in a while and he's going to explain again some more about the particular half wave. And tonight we're going to change it to a full wave. But uh, when we get things all fired up and uh, get it going, why this is what we uh, what we end up with is about one watt of power. And um, let's see, I think maybe... You might be able to see the watt meter up there in the corner. Ooh, ooh, passed it up. There's the watt meter, and it's sitting at one watt. And, uh, boy, what a wonderful piece this MFJ uh, QRP uh, watt meter's been in this project. Because uh, regular 100 watt, uh, they ain't going to make it. <laughs> Not going to make it. And there's the, uh, there's the supply using the tube. Now... What we're doing there is we're getting about around uh, 150 volts of B-plus out. Well, you know how much I talk about high voltage. And you really want to be careful to uh, respect the high voltage. First of all, I'm turning this off and I'm unplugging it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, because we're going to deal with a little bit of of stuff here. Of course, it's turned off. But just to make sure, I'm going to take this and I'm going to short out the B plus. Let me get over here. Okay. And anytime you're doing that, anytime you're working on it, uh, we you know about the chip stick, but that's just temporary. You want to actually short those two terminals. Of course, you're not. I have this turned on. You want to, I unplugged it from the wall. Plus, I turned the switch off. So I have two things protecting me there. But I also have shorted that out because here's what's going to happen. We're going to change that particular half wave, giving us 150 volts, by making a couple of very simple, very simple changes. We can get about 340, 50, 60 volts, depends on your transformer. And that's going to bring us up to five watts out. Here's all you have to do to do that. First of all, we're going to remove the tube. Now, the pinouts on that tube, as we know from the drawing, and of course, the, uh, the tube socket itself, pin six is open. It's not used. And the first thing we're going to do is ground pin six to ground it. Okay, that's what you have to do. And uh, once we do that, here is the the heart of the whole thing. This is a uh, it's a available at all of the places. Any kind of little uh, electronic parts store is going to have. A bridge rectifier. Now, here we go. Now, what we did, let me get this all right here for you. Okay. Pin six is, is not ground, is not used in the tube circuit. So we have to run a ground wire on pin six to ground. And uh, should have done that in the beginning, but that's okay because we weren't using it. Now, we're going to unplug the tube. Um, be careful, as I said, that you've got this thing all shorted out so we know what's going on there. And the rectifier is very simple. 
I built it into a socket. And that socket is going to fit right in where the tube went. It's very simple to do. You have four leads. And those leads are here on this little drawing. We have the AC is going to three and five. The, uh, the uh, plus DC out is going to pin eight. And then this is going to go to pin six, which we had to ground. And that does not affect it if you use the tube because it's not used. Now, when we do that, and we're going to end up with a regular full, bra full bridge rectifier. All we have to do, we've unplugged the tube, so we'll put our, our half wave over here, and we're going to take this little guy, and again, I made this with one of the sockets from an 8-pin tube, and you'll plug it into the socket just the same as you did the tube. Make sure you got her plugged in good. Now, remember... I got this baby unplugged. I got this baby shorted. And I got the switch. <laughs> so let me plug it. Okay. Now we're going to remove that. Here's the most important thing. You have to disconnect the center tap. If you don't, you're going to blow your power supply to schmitterines. Can't do that. And what I did here... A long time ago, uh, when I was building it, the center tap sits right here. Coming out of this transformer, the orange and red wire going to that terminal, and I'm going to cut it. It's on a terminal, and that was running over to ground. So we're just going to take that little guy and cut it. We have disconnected the center tap. There is no center tap. It's floating. With the tube, we needed that. But with the new bridge rectifier, we don't want it. So now, when we turn all this on, get it all tuned up here, uh, we're going to end up with about 5 watts. And uh, it really, really makes a big difference, believe me. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. Let me get that set up here there we go. and um, what you want to do is set the scale there we go. all right and let's see if you can see the meter now here's the meter and i've got it all set up and the meter's over here on the peg <laughs> i'll have to recalibrate it but anyway what's happening is we now have about 300 and as I said, 50 volts plus or minus 10 or 20, depending on uh, your transformer. But now we're dealing with five watts, and you can uh, you can do a lot with five watts. Of course, we we do things with one watt, but five is really good, and it helps a great deal when we're doing that. So I just wanted to tell everyone, let them know what's going on with making your little pine board a little bit more powerful and that that's it's really simple to do and there it is uh, bridge rectifier antique electronic supply all of these online mauser they've all they all have them so that's the story on that i am so proud of all of you that are sending me pictures check this out this is from virginia Virginia's in Texas. Look what she is doing. I just am so happy with some of the things that she's done. She's, uh, she's really doing it well. That's her uh, beginning of her preamp. She already built the power supply. And uh, here she started off just as we did, putting all of the, the terminal strips right. Everything's laid out properly. That's how you do it. And uh, she's well on her way. And I uh, appreciate that. That's what she <laughs> inscribed at the bottom of it. So that was really cool. I uh, appreciated that uh, from her. And uh, she's, uh, she's a, real, a real avid builder now, Virginia. And back to some serious stuff I should have shown these in the beginning. This is coming from Eric. 
Eric is W4EJO, and um, he uh, he tells us a few years ago uh, he became a Ham Nation viewer, and because of Ham Nation, he got his ticket. He's got his ticket, and now he's all out there helping people in the shelters and passing all kinds of information as hams do. And so there again, Ham Nation has really put some uh, some worthwhile needs into people that have made Ham Radio play for them. There's a picture of Eric. Eric, thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate all of the letters that we get from you guys and gals. I uh, I get so many, and I appreciate them. But I thought that was pretty apropos. He's in Florida and uh, working uh, with all of the shelters and things that he does, and all because of Ham Nation did he get his ticket. So uh, I guess that's that's one of the things that we do here, other than uh, do crazy things of helping people how to build. But I'm really excited about all of the uh, all of the things happening and. Remember that all of these, these uh, the the videos of each each week, and the parts list, those wonderful diagrams from Gene, and uh, a lot of comments and stuff back and forth is on our website. I, I didn't know where else to put it, so we put it at the bottom of Heil Sound. Just go to Heil Sound H E I L S O U N D, HeilSound.com. And down at the bottom, all of this stuff. And uh, Victor's been so kind and punching out all of these, just the videos, so you don't have to go through the whole show. And then you have those wonderful things that George does. And he's going to do another one here in just a minute. Uh, There it is there. That's the website as you see it. And it goes on down and away you go. We're so happy to have all of this happening. And... uh, I want you to go check it out, and um, I I know that it will help you for sure. Uh, 